Hey, and welcome back. Ozark Food Harvest is combining forces with Panera Bread for the 11th annual Empty the Bowls fundraiser. And joining me now is marketing and events manager, Sarah Green. Sarah, it's good to have you here in studio. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having us. Yes, of course. Okay, so Empty the Bowls. This is a big deal to you all and a big deal to the community. So why don't you kind of remind people what this fundraiser is? So this is our 11th annual okay. Empty Bowls. And the Empty Bowls serve as a reminder of the one in five kids in the Ozarks that are facing hunger. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and so um, with these bowls we sell them and 100% of the proceeds go back to benefit our weekend backpack program so literally every bowl is helping to fill yeah so tell me a little bit about these bowls these are made by local artists they right? are yeah and you can see we have I mean an incredible mm -hmm. variety of even different mediums we have a quilted bowl this year that is really neat yeah isn't I like that, that cool one. yeah um, we work with the wood turners of southwest Missouri primarily mm. um, they've been on board since this started 11 years yeah. ago, and I mean, you can see some of the intricate detail yeah. in all of this work. It's just incredible. So, yeah. um, the event actually starts online tomorrow. Okay. So you can buy all sorts of bowls Perfect. online. Perfect. Yeah. Um, at OzarksFoodHarvest.org. Yes. Um, but then Panera mm -hmm. is hosting us on October 3rd October for an in person third. event okay. where we have some really special bowls and anything that doesn't sell online we bring and that all comes with a free bowl of soup from Oh my god. How neato is yeah. that? Yeah. Well, you know, I, the thing I love about this too is that art can be so universal, right? It can be multi-purposeful. Like I think about when you think about bowls, I immediately think of like eating, right? Mm -hmm. Or I don't know, some kind of function and I look at what you brought in and I'm like the quilt makes me think of something lighter or even this is like something you could put like your ring or your keys in, you know, uh -huh. but we also have things that we could actually eat of. But they also could just be decoration, you Absolutely. know, and that's what's so cool is your you know, you're supporting local artistry right here in the 417, but you're also helping support um, uh, Ozark's Food Harvest, but then you're also getting some kind of fun little piece for your home out of this too. So it's really just like a win, 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 win situation. It is. Which I love. Yes, and when you take some piece home like this and you look at it and you can feel good. Yeah. Knowing that you're helping to feed kids right here. Yeah, and like quite literally that's what you're doing. Absolutely. And yeah. as you mentioned, you know, this whole initiative, this fundraiser, if you will, goes towards the Ozark Food Harvest Weekend Backpack Program, which is one of my favorite things that you all do. But remind our viewers kind of about that program. So the Weekend Backpack Program serves about 1,700 kids in South Missouri. Yeah. We're in 60 different schools across the Ozarks and um, every Friday we send home a backpack full of nutritious, child-friendly, easy to open food yeah. to basically bridge that gap between Friday lunch and Monday breakfast at yeah. school. Because yeah. a lot of times school meals are all, you know, that's the only dedicated meals that they're receiving. Yeah. So this backpack program is making a huge difference for those kids. Well, it's vital, right? I mean, for yeah. a lot of us, that's something that we don't think about so much as an issue or a concern. We just know that it's going to be available to us, but there's a lot of like friends and neighbors we have right here yeah. in our community that don't have that same yeah. kind of benefit or luxury, if you will. And so that's why this is so important, right? It is, absolutely. And um, we work with the school systems and they help us to identify the kids who need it the most. Yeah. And, and it just, it works. We're now seeing kids yeah. who started on the program 20 years ago coming back to donate yeah and so we know it, it's working and and it's making a difference yeah and I love that you mentioned that you all work with the school district because I think that clears any questions of are these going to the right kids so we have it verified you know what I mean because yes. that is something people are always thinking about so incredible stuff okay and you know also all the work you guys do could not be done without some volunteers Absolutely. so kind of remind people of volunteering at Ozarks Food Harvest so what that may look like for someone we have a lot of different volunteer opportunities at Ozarks Food Harvest we have morning and afternoon opportunities we have some evening and weekends available Available as well. Okay. I will say if you want to get in on a holiday session with um, friends and family or co-workers you need to sign up now because those spots are filling up yeah. fast but we cannot do the work that we do yeah. without our volunteers. Yeah well and I love the holiday piece what a great way to mm -hmm. kind of give back especially for those of us that are already fortunate enough right so people want more information about volunteering or empty the bowl or any of the incredible work you guys are doing how do they go back and do that information? Ozarksfoodharvest.org is the best way um, everything you need to know is there you can even buy one of these cool t-shirts. Look at that yeah. Also benefits the weekend backpack program. Yeah I love that plenty of ways to give plenty of ways to help. All right well we are going to take a short break then it's back out to